Hey, these are the red strip lights I used on my rear vents. You can also tap into your license plate lights so that when you turn on your parking lights, only these lights come on. Your marker lights on the side and your front lights, obviously. I'm going to show you my plate light up underneath. Oh, it's kind of dirty right now. But anyway, that's what I've done to light up the plate. And up under here, I've mounted a little LED light that you're not going to be able to see real good, but I'll show you one on the bench. And all these wires you see up in here, they're tucked up under the valance so you can't see them. But that's what you do to illuminate this and it'll illuminate the vent lights. Okay, I've showed you what the lights look like when they're hooked up. Now these are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need some dikes to cut the wires with, your wire strippers. It's good to have a test light so that you can find your hot leads. I'm going to demonstrate with a small battery that's hooked up and then I'm going to show you the type of bulbs I used. You know, and this is the strip light I was talking about that actually I use on the vents. These are the lights that I'm using for light up the plate up underneath. Either one of these will work fine. They're self-sticky, like most of the stuff is. It's got a 3M tape on the back of it, and uh, it makes it real easy to use. Then the last thing you're going to need is some flux, some solder, whoops, and a soldering iron gun or whatever, any type. I just use this old weller here. So let me get to it. Now then, as far as hooking up the lights on the LEDs, they're specific to what they go for. Red needs to be positive, and black needs to be ground. So if I hook this light here, I'm going to hook the red to the ground, and the other side to the, pop, to the power, it won't light up. And if I reverse them, put the ground over here, and put the red on this side, they light up. So that's how you hook up an LED. They always got to be power to the power and negative to the negative. Now this is the type of light I used. It's called a 12 inch uh, strip light. You can get it from Amazon eBay, any place, and they got tape on the back, and they work pretty good, and they last for quite a bit, quite a long time. So you can stick this up inside of the car, and actually hook your wires that you've got running from your car. I'm using the battery now as that to uh, to activate them. And the reason, like I say, I hook them to the parking light side is because I only want them on when the parking lights are on. When you turn on your parking lights, they're on. When you turn on your headlights, they're on because the parking lights are on. So that's my theory. I mean you can hook them directly to the battery and control them with your phone or something else, but I like to run them through the circuit of the car. Now if you did them with on your phone, I've never had those, but I'm pretty sure from what I've read about them that you can hook them up to the circuit and still change all the colors and stuff uh, with your phone. So that's how you do that. Now for the little light that I've got on the back plate, I've mounted one of these. This one will work fine too, uh, and it's a little smaller, maybe easier to mount. But I've, I've been using these, and these are 24 LEDs. And if you notice, when I hook the red to the red, 
to the positive. Oops. They're pretty bright. You know, they show up real well. Same way with this smaller one here. I have to hook a, a plug to it though to get it to work. And again, these plugs, if you're using these plugs, they're specific to the product. They have to be red to red, black to black. Now, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to put this to the black side, which is this. And I'll put the red side to this side. And it comes on. Now, it's pretty bright. They're real easy to use. These here, for over the plate, you have to mount it up on the inside and wire it to the same line that you've put your, your red lights on if you're using vent lights. If you're not, just hook this directly to uh, your parking light side of your marker lights or your, um, your, your brake lights. Uh, wires, not the brake light side, but there's two sides to that, and I'll see if I can't show you that too. Okay, now you you ask, well, how do you know which is the the positive side and the negative side on the wire? Well, you'll have a wiring diagram, but the easiest way is is use a test light, and all the test light does is is when you have you hook this to a chassis ground someplace I'm just rep this battery just represents the car and now it's hooked to something metal on the car that should be grounded and when you touch the other side to a wire the lights gonna come on and show you that that's making a circuit so that would be a good wire to hook your lights to. As long as they come on when you turn your parking lights on and they don't flash like a directional signal bulb or a stoplight. Now if you want to hook them to a, a, your stoplight you can actually hook it to the positive side of the tail light that comes on when you step, put on your brake and it'll come on only when the brake is applied. I didn't want that. I want them on all the time when i am uh, got my parking lights on. So that's how easy that is to tell which wire you got. Now these are very sharp points so if you had one laying in the car and you say well I want to see is that a positive you can poke this through the sheathing a little bit and it'll light up telling you well that's a hot wire. And if you do it to a different wire like the ground wire it won't light up. I get it. It won't light up because it's um, it's it needs a positive. So that's how easy that is to tell which wires and what. Okay, let's just say I want to tap into this green wire here. So what I'm going to do is, I've already got this end stripped. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to get ready to tap this in. And when you put it in there in the handle like that and squeeze it, it opens it up. Then you take the wire you want to tap onto that wire and you twist it around and twist it around. Now at this point you can Actually, you could tape that up with tape, but I prefer putting some flux and some solder on it and soldering it up. And uh, I'll show you how to do that too. Okay, now I'm going to take the wire that I've spliced into and I'm going to put a little flux onto the wire. And I'm going to take my soldering gun and I'm going to heat it, heat it up. 
put a little bit of solder on it and I'm going to touch it to the wire when it heats up the solder that's on the tip is going to actually run follow the the resin and it's going to solder it together and that's all it's to splicing into a wire whether this wire is one of your wires coming from your marker light or to the parking light on your tail light side it's all the same process pretty easy to splice into a wire then after you've done that you can take and wrap this with electrical tape and it will protect it from the elements pretty much well I hope that helped you I uh, wish I'd have made a video when I was setting it up but I didn't so just remember I was demonstrating with a battery as the car you know how to splice and you need a wire stripper and the tools that I use there and it's pretty simple you can run one wire from whatever source you're pulling the power from and you can hook all your positives to it and then run another wire from all your lights that you want and hook them into a chassis ground so it's only two wires hook up to the car and you're set. So I hope it helps you.